Hey everybody, welcome back to Peachy Disc Golf. In today's video, I am going to help you decide if you have a noodle arm like myself, do you need to get your hands on a prototype Simon Line Time Box? Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard that the new hottest disc on the market is this. The very first disc in the Simon line of discs from MVP this is the Axiom Time Lapse. Look at this disc. It is so pretty. I got this one from Doggone Good Disc Golf here in Georgia. It's a 12.5 negative 1.3. The first 12 speed driver from the MVP family. And they did a great job. It looks beautiful. All of the colors that I've seen have looked amazing. But if you're familiar with the channel, you know that I have an absolute noodle arm. I can top out at 300 on my like very best drive. Is this gonna be too much disc for me? I, I can already tell you, it is, but I'm gonna give this a throw. I also have a special guest giving it a throw, a little bit more arm speed, and I'll help you decide if you need to get your hands on a time lapse because for these prototypes, every retailer only got 10 of them. Very limited supply, and these are going on eBay for like 200, some even $300, it's like, absolutely crazy the market for these is insane do you need to spend an arm and a leg on one of these as well let's find out so i'm here in the parking lot for the chamley church disc golf course we're going to be giving the time lapse a good rip just straight down here not at this basket but just straight down see how far it fades to the left i don't imagine this is going to go that far that went nowhere Let's compare it to some other drivers that I have. I have a couple of other distance drivers that I've been playing around with. I have a X3, which is similar in number. Uh, this is a 12, five, negative one, two. This is an air plastic, very lightweight. We're looking at 164 grams. And I also have a lightweight cosmic neutron wave as well at 11 speed. So let's see how these two discs compare. We'll start with the X3. Definitely straighter and a little further. I think this wave is gonna be similar, actually. Oh yeah. Definitely further than the time lapse as well by a good 20, 30 feet. I found that sometimes I don't even need to use a distance driver to get my full distance. I can throw fairway drivers pretty much the same distance as my distance drivers because I just don't have the arm speed to handle those. So. I'm testing out this Shadow Fax in 400 plastic. Let's see how it flies. Can we also beat the time lapse with it? Just about the same distance there, and I threw that a little bit softer. I definitely put more arm speed into the time lapse throw. This one I wasn't sure. I haven't really thrown the Shadow Fax. I don't know how much it's going to turn. And I didn't want to go off to the right, but it definitely went at least the same distance if not just a hair further. I found that one of my furthest flying discs is actually my Undertaker in ESP plastic. This is pretty beat up. It actually goes pretty straight for me now. Let's see if it can get more distance than that. Oh, that was a great throw. Perfectly straight, just a little bit of fade. I'm pretty sure it went a little bit further than that time lapse as well. I have a six and a half speed Neutron Crave here from Axiom. I bet I could throw this further than the time lapse as well, so let's give it a rip. Oh yeah, that's at least 20 feet further than that time lapse. Let's go around all those discs up. All right, so here's where the time lapse landed, and it is definitely the shortest disc of the group. We got maybe 15 feet with the shadow facts here. This disc, I haven't thrown that much, but from the few times I've had, I've been impressed with it. So might do a review of that. Definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to check that out when it comes out. Here's a big grouping of three discs. The Craven the Undertaker, 50 feet further than the time lapse. The Wave as well in the same group. And then the X3 is way over here. This was a bomb for me. I've really been liking this X3. I've only thrown it a handful of times but this might be my new bomber disc. It still has some very good overstability, but because it's so light, I'm able to throw it pretty far. 
So from here, you can see the time lapse is way up there. We're probably 80 to 100 feet away. So definitely losing some distance with that beefy, beefy time lapse. All right, now we know that a noodle arm like myself has no business throwing a time lapse. One, it's just too fast of a disc for me and it is very overstable. I've heard that these prototype runs are going to be more overstable than the stock runs. I'll probably try to get my hands on a stock run as well just to do a comparison, but you do not need to try to throw time lapse if you have a noodle arm because it's not going to go that far. You're going to be able to throw further with fairways with understable distance drivers. Obviously a big draw for these is to collect them because they are gorgeous discs. I really like the stamp design. They've got some great colors, the swirly rims on all of them. But I do have a special guest coming on the channel as well. Let's see what Cam from the T-Less Travels thinks of the time lapse as well. He has a much higher arm speed than me. He says that his good throws are usually around 470 feet, even topping out at 500 on a really good rip. So let's see what he thinks of the time lapse. And he's also going to probably compare it to his Wraith that he throws a lot as well. So let's go check in with him. Nice. That's beef. <laughs> hey, let me show you a race in comparison. <laughs> Still got the turn. <laughs> Un mas. Nice. Yeah, they need to make those flip here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep this flat to any. <laughs> no, that's just <laughs> just beef, <laughs> pure beef. Don't hit the cars. Just in front of them. <laughs> Just in front of them. <laughs> All right, well, thanks Cam for showing me how the Simon line is at least supposed to look like in flight. Definitely check out Cam's channel, The Tea Less Traveled. I'll have a link in the description down below. And be sure to subscribe to both of our channels because we're gonna be having a couple of collab videos coming out. You won't wanna miss those. We had a lot of fun recording at the Cap Memorial Park. A couple of very interesting challenges, but for a noodle arm like myself, I have no need for having a Simon line in the bag because there's no chance that I'm going to be throwing this disc anytime soon. Even with the stock run of time lapses coming out in the near future, I probably don't need those as well. I'll probably be getting one to try out, but I'm sure I will not be bagging it. I'm sure it'll be still too much disc for my slower arm speed, but this disc is certainly pretty. I definitely understand the hype for it. Simon's first signature disc with MVP have some, they have some great colors, but it's definitely not a disc that I'm gonna be bagging personally, which is kind of odd then because that means I really have no need for this second Simon line prototype time-lapse because this was already just gonna be on display. What am I gonna do with this one? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna be bagging it. No one really here in the Peachy Disc Golf has the arm speed for one of these, so maybe we'll give one of these to you guys instead. That way you don't have to go on eBay and try to scoop one of these up for $200 or more. We're gonna be giving away this prototype time-lapse, never thrown before, just got it in the mail, a really cool teal with this like red, and there's like a little purple swirled into the rim. Really cool looking disc here. We're gonna be giving this disc away to one of you guys. So if you want a chance to enter, be sure to subscribe to the channel and also leave me a comment down below. If you were to win this, are you gonna be bagging it and throwing it or is it just going on display? I definitely see the appeal for both sides here, but be sure to leave a note down in the comments. And I say maybe a week from when this video is uploaded, we'll go ahead and pick a winner from those comments and I'll reach out to them. And we'll get this sent along. Now, unfortunately, I am only able to send this to people in the continental US, so I'm sorry international folks i'm not able to set it out but definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel because we are getting very close to hitting that 1000 subscriber mark and we're going to be doing another big giveaway just like we did for the 500 sub giveaway 
this time out even bigger and better and that'll be open to everybody as well so thank you guys though so much for all of the support so far we really appreciate everybody subscribing to the channel leaving all your comments below we're very thankful for the community that we're that we're growing here so thank you guys so much for that we just want to get back to you again uh, so the support so thanks so much for subscribing if you enjoyed watching this video be sure to give it a thumbs up ring that notification bell we'll catch you guys in the next one cheers Thank you.